guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a weight loss update for you guys and like more so like a what I eat in a day and like what I've been doing for like my like daily routine, things like that. So I'm just gonna kind of like show you guys what I've done. So in the past like week I really kicked it up. Um, decided to go like full keto, full low carb. I've kind of like been mixing it in um, here and there and to like slowly lose my baby weight. As you guys know, I lost all of my baby weight in the first two weeks after having Raker, and I attest a lot of that to breastfeeding. Kaya's destroying things in the background. Um, anyway, so I attest like a lot of that like um, actual baby weight from Riker, um, from breastfeeding, but from there on out, so everything I've lost from there on out has been purely just me dieting and um, like low carb keto. And when I say like I really kicked it up a notch is I started working out a lot more um, than I was previously and I've just been more active in general. So 10 pounds in the first week, in the first nine days I lost 10 pounds. So, whoa, did you see that? Did you guys just hear that? Oh my gosh. Mike, did you just hear that? Did you see the lightning? That was scary. That was crazy. Before I was rudely interrupted by that lightning bolt. Um, just showing you guys what I've been eating and like doing to lose those 10 pounds. All right, so I have actually been doing a lot of like these egg muffins in the morning because they're low carb, they're delicious. I've got some in here for Kaya. I was getting the Jimmy Dean frittata. Um, I'll leave a picture up here somewhere for you guys to see um, what I was, or what I was, um, I'll leave a picture up here for you guys somewhere so that you can see exactly what I had been buying. Decided to make them myself so that they were preserved free and um, they're cheaper this way. So I made a ton with jalapenos. Um, it's got bacon, a little bit of bacon. I don't like to overdo it on the bacon. I know like on keto you can have bacon, but I don't think pounds and pounds of bacon is necessarily the best for you. So anyways, I've got some bacon in here, a little bit of mozzarella um, seasonings, and then jalapenos. And those the jalapenos are for Mike and I in the morning, and then the ones with just bacon will be for Kaya, because she loves these. So the Jimmy Dean ones come in a two pack, and then you just heat them up in the microwave. Um, and Kaya would have one, and then I would have one. So I know that she loves these. Um, these were an absolute hit with her. My counters are all greasy because I just got done cooking these. But generally, this is what I've been having for breakfast in the morning. It's just like a low carb, like an egg option. And then along with it, I will have some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, this is just like the Walmart version, the Walmart brand. I've been getting my groceries via Walmart pickup lately because it's been so convenient. Um, and then also, I will have this iced coffee. I've showed you guys this a million times in all of my day in the life since I started doing them. I've um, been showing you guys these and I really, um, or I've been showing you guys like this combo right here, these two things. Um, so that is what I have for breakfast every single day. And then also I've been having lemon in my water. I just, I feel like it just makes me feel better um, when I have lemon in my water. Plus it's really good for your kidneys and I struggle with kidney stones and like kidney infections. So I like to introduce a little bit of lemon into my um, diet once in a while just to like keep my kidneys healthy. And then for like a lot of lunches and stuff, I've been using this, um, I took the tag off. It's just like a green leaf lettuce. It's a butter lettuce. And I've been using this along with, um, I don't know if I have any left, but I've been using those, that lettuce along with like some deli meats. This is just like oven roasted turkey breast or whatever I have in here. Um, we did have like pulled pork as well that I put in there that was really good. But if you layer it, layer it with, oh here, and like some salami too is good in there. But um, if you layer it with Havarti, a little bit of, like a tiny bit of mayo, I do like a homemade mayo with avocado oil. Um, and then I will also do um, tomatoes. Sometimes I'll throw like a cucumber in there too. But basically just like a low carb sandwich. Um, another thing that's a staple in our house when we're doing keto, Chicken thighs and chicken drummies because they're just so easy to toss on the grill quick. Um, keto is a lot easier to do in the summertime, I will say that, but um, definitely a staple as well as, actually these were, these are not mine. These were like, these were picked up by mistake. Uh, 
um, as well as like some salad. So this mixed green whatever stuff mix, I'll do that along with some of my homemade ranch, which I will leave a, like a general recipe down below. I do the Whole30 ranch. Um, super, super good, and you can add whatever kind of herbs you want in there. Um, and then, I mean, some days I go a little bit more dairy-free than others. Um, today was not one of them. I went pretty heavy on the on the cheese today, so my stomach will be hurting later. But um, if I'm doing a, a, like a low dairy day, I won't put cheese on this. Otherwise, I'll do like a shredded cheese with my homemade ranch, um, some red onions, some chopped cucumbers, and it's super refreshing and super yummy. Um, and then I'll also do, I have a huge bag of jalapenos in here, which we already had a ton tonight, but um, we'll do stuffed jalapeno like poppers. So I'll cut these in half and I'll scoop out the seeds and then I'll add um, cream cheese mixed with bacon bits or just plain cream cheese and then um, stick those in the oven until the um, peppers are soft. That is delicious. This is one of my favorite things, my favorite like meals to make is the jalapeno poppers with like stuffed chicken um, and then I get this top the tater this is really good um, with potato chips but and I'm like such a chips and dip person but um, I will have this with like sliced cucumbers and that does the job for snacking I have a bubbly which is it, it's caffeine free which is like the only downside because for me if I'm gonna drink something I like it for it to have caffeine in it but um if i'm craving something sweet this does the trick um this is sugar free and i believe it just has like natural flavors in it zero carbs zero sugars um the mango is my favorite um and then i just in the fridge right now i've got like random things from camping but um and like mimosas <laughs> Um, I've got these um, these dill pickle chips um, or these like hamburger dill chips I guess is what they would be um, those are really good for snacking as well as you can tell we're snackers um, cheese is another really good keto snack so I've got like pepper jack and sharp cheddar in here and um, I do like to have some fruit on hand so like right now I've got some leftover watermelon from the weekend. I need to refill on my fruit though because we just got home from a long um, week of camping. Some of my favorite things to like top my stuff with when I'm going keto um, or low carb or just like in general trying to watch what I'm eating more, like cutting out more of the processed foods, which is why I'll do like homemade mayo and I'll do homemade ranch is I try to just cut out some of the processed foods. Um, I know the stuff off the shelf is good and it's technically keto friendly, but there are added sugars in there um, and preservatives and just things that aren't good for your body. So um, sriracha, I don't know how to make homemade sriracha. So that is one thing that I do keep on hand um, as, well as, as well as Red Hot. Um, I love Red Hot on my stuff and there are zero carbs in there. I still need to look up like a low carb barbecue recipe because they're like a barbecue sauce recipe. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, and then on top of that, um, I went super easy this time um, and got some lunches. So I got, um, these are my go-tos, these healthy choice. Again, like I try to stay away from preservatives and like pre like made meals. Did you have one of these for lunch today? Oh, for sure. You told me you had pulled pork. Okay. Anyway, so Mike and I are doing this together. It's just easier when we both are eating the same thing. But um, this is just um, chicken, broccoli, and Alfredo. And it's only 190 calories. That's like the only downside in each meal, which to me is like not enough. But I always make sure that I recoup with like enough calories at night. <laughs> because just because, like, even though I'm going keto, I don't necessarily want to cut too much on my calories. Kai's trying to run outside and run away right now, hence the meltdown. Um, but in here I've got, let's see, there's, here there are two grams of sugar, which isn't too bad, um, considering that it's like a pre-made meal. Okay, so the other um, frozen meal that I get, again, it's 190 calories. This is the, um, Simply steamers, chicken, and vegetable stir fry. It's really good. It's got like peas, and broccoli, chicken, peppers, um, and then it comes in like a light sauce. Um, in here, there are a little bit more added sugars. Um, this one has six grams of total added sugars. 
Um, and then the net carbs would be at, let's see, about 10, 10 net carbs. And I try to stick to around 20 to 30 net carbs a day. Um, so this is a little bit higher, but if I know I'm having zero carbs for breakfast, then I will squeeze this in for my lunch. Um, plus, it's just easy. It's easy, it's pretty low carb. Um, and yeah, it's really good. So, um, let's see what else do I keep in here. Um, I've got lots of chicken breast right now. Chicken breast is a staple. Um, lots of bacon. I've got two packages here and we will use those for breakfasts on the weekend. Um, and then, um, last but not least, I've got a bag of beef burgers, just like the pre-made kind because we're super crazy busy as you guys know. Um, but yeah, that is what I keep in the house for snacks and then if I do need something like a dessert um, Don't mind me like sitting on the floor um, if I need something like sweet like a dessert. I'll do um, whipped cream because You can make your own whipped cream pretty easily and like add some stevia or some erythritol which are both keto friendly sweeteners um, And I believe they're fairly like natural They're much better for you than any other like the aspartame like the stevia or what are they called? Um, the aspartame the Splenda much better for you than that but all right so that is like in a gist what i have in the house when i'm going keto um there might be some other miscellaneous things that i keep on hand but i will keep you guys updated i'll do a couple more videos like in this style where i just kind of like show you what i keep in the house um while i'm losing weight talk to you guys about like my weight loss progress and like what my workout routine is um, and I'll show you guys here in a clip but typically what I'll do is um, I'll go for a run on the elliptical when I was on vacation I went for like a run um, on the road and I went swimming and I just like made sure I was staying really active um, just whatever make sure that you're like off your bum you're doing some stuff you're like making an actual effort to be active I've been kind of bad the past couple days because I've been super tired since getting back from vacation. He wants some juice. And anyways, um, but I think I'm going to have to start implementing a morning run because after work I'm just like so crazy insane. So anyways, all right. I will show you guys what my workout routine is and show you guys what I um, have for lunch tomorrow. Like show you guys like what it looks like all heated up and stuff. So all right. Okay guys, so this is what I was doing for dinner tonight. I have like a burger with no bun, and this is just like ketchup and ranch. I've got jalapeno poppers that I made, which inside of here is just like cream cheese and then cheese on top. And then I also have the poppers are spicy honey. Um, and then I've got some asparagus as well. Kind of made a mess, I was like mixing the ketchup and the ranch over here, but that is what I'm having for dinner. Um, and then this is butter lettuce underneath an aroma tomato. So like a little bit of carbs in this meal, but not too bad. But, um, and then the ketchup too. Ketchup too, um, I did a tablespoon and that has five grams of carbs. So because I didn't get the sugar-free ketchup this time. They do have um, keto-friendly ketchup, but I just did the regular ketchup for now. Um, I will show you guys what my macros ended up looking like with my lunch, um, which I just grabbed one of those healthy choice things for lunch. Um, and then they also had a benefit today for um, somebody at work and I ended up having a hot dog and then I did have a bite of a cupcake, but oops. Um, anyways, so I will show you guys what my macros look like for the day. Okay guys, so for the day today, I ended up at 1659. I just like set like a 1500 calorie in there, but I just try to stay anywhere between 15 and like, man, like 17, 1800. It just depends on how many carbs I'm having that day. Um, and I do try and work out every single day, at least go for like a run. I have not been very good for the past few days. I've mostly just been focusing on what I've been eating, um, but after this, after my food settles, I will work out on the elliptical for 20 minutes, so that will add to my exercise. Um, but breakfast, I had my paleo egg muffin, and then my iced coffee. Lunch, I had this healthy choice. I did have a hot dog. Now, I don't know if this is accurate, 
I just put in a hot dog. I don't necessarily know where the hot dog's from. It's probably not as much as this um, big Kirkland Costco hot dog, but anyways. Um, and then I put in a half of a chocolate cupcake because I ate the top of a chocolate cupcake. Um, and then pickles. And this was for um, that benefit that I went to. So my lunch was only 480 calories, it wasn't much. But dinner, I was starving tonight. Um, I had almost 1100 calories for dinner. I had two burger patties like on the lettuce, um, which I actually forgot to add the lettuce and tomato. But those aren't very many calories, it'll, it'll just affect my carbs a little bit. So I'll show you guys um, the nutrition info after I get those in. Um, but calorie wise, this is pretty accurate. I've got the Havarti, the one size of Havarti, I split between the two burgers. Um, I've got some asparagus, my homemade jalapeno poppers. I had four of those. Um, and that is what I have for the day. I don't mark my water in here at all, but um, yeah, total I had 16.59 for the day. So I am over a little bit, but like I said, I just put 15 in, 1500 in there as like a general guideline but I'm like anywhere between 15 and 1700 calories. Um, just for reference, I, I am, just for reference, I am like five foot nine and a half, so I'm pretty tall, so my um, caloric needs are going to be much different than say like somebody who's five five. But anyways, this is what I'm sitting at right now, um, and then I'll add these tomatoes and um, lettuce and then show you the nutrition info. Okay, so this is where I wound up for the day. I'm sitting at 93 for my protein, 50 for my carbs, which I knew today was gonna be a little bit higher because I obviously I had a cupcake, um, or like a half a cupcake, but I'm at 50 minus 11, so I'm at 39 grams of carbs. And like I told you guys, I like to typically keep that between 20 and 30, so but 39 is not bad for like having a little bit of a cheat. Um, the sugar, that's mostly from the cupcake I had. Um, my fat, I went well over today, which is good. You actually, when you're on keto, you wanna see this fat higher. So um, protein I need to work on a little bit, but um, yeah, not too, too bad, um, considering that I cheated a tiny bit today. So I just wanted to include um, that little cheat in there for you guys. I could have left out that cupcake, but decided to leave it in there. Um, I had like a half a cupcake, so it wasn't really much. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that um, as long as you're you know, making sure that it fits into your macros, you can have a treat once in a while. Keto, with the only downfall with keto is that once your body gets into ketosis, um, you can be thrown out of ketosis really easily if you have a treat like that. Um, but anyways, today, like I said, I went to a benefit. It was kind of a, um, it was like an exception because I was going to that benefit today and I just don't want to seem rude and like only take a, a hot dog with no bun. Um, so anyways, the cupcake, it was really good. I believe it was gluten free. Um, but yeah, it was super yummy. Anyways, um, yeah. So sitting pretty good for the day considering that I had a little bit of a cheat and now I'm going to go and run on the elliptical for 20 minutes. Um, and I will bring you guys along for that like for a little bit of it so I can like kind of show you guys It's kind of boring just cardio, but I'm gonna go help the baby because he's waking up um, But I will check in with you guys when I go to work out. Okay guys. I was gonna go and um, Work out tonight, but I ended up doing a bunch of yard work instead um, It was like outside taking care of the dogs both my dogs are kind of sick right now So um, I've been taking care of them. I was running around and now I'm just kind of running out of time. I think I'm just gonna have to go and work out tomorrow morning at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., which is fine because I plan on going to bed early tonight, so that should work out perfect. But I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. I'm trying to sneak in an episode of Stranger Things 3, maybe do some like leg lifts and some ab exercises while I am laying in bed. That is what I've been doing to lose my weight. I've just been watching my carbs. I've been much more active. I've been working out um, almost every single day. The past few days, like I said, I've been like less like elliptical and more like just staying active and like being outside and running around and cleaning and things like that. So um, I do plan to implement a weight routine here very soon. Um, I've thought about like implementing some like cycling, things like that. Um, I've looked at like some cycle bars. I never thought I would be like a cycler, but I have um, a good friend at work and she 
mentioned that maybe we should try it because like you lose a lot of weight and you're always in really good shape when you cycle so anyways if you guys enjoy my weight loss stuff and you want to follow me on my weight loss journey or just want to stay tuned for my day in the life vlogs follow me on my motherhood motherhood journey i've got a few travel vlogs coming in the very near future we've got some trips planned it's going to be a lot of fun. Our life is never lacking chaos and excitement. So make sure you hit that big thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other craziness. And I'll see you guys on uh, Sunday. I'll see you on Sunday for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.